Tass and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make fish curry in the Instant Pot. So this was the first time I made fish curry in the Instant Pot and it turned out pretty delicious. So I'll be using salmon for making this curry. You can use any kind of fish for making this. So this is one of the popular fish curries in my home state, Kerala. So it's going to be Kerala style fish curry. There are different ways of making fish curries in Kerala. This is one of the ways. Uh, some of the fish curries we add coconut for making the gravy. But for making this, um, I will not be using coconut. This is made without coconut and with very simple ingredients. So let's get started and let's make fish curry in the instant pot. For making this fish curry, I'll be using salmon. So here I have eight pieces of salmon that's been uh, cubed so i have uh, washed and rinsed the salmon really well under running water so you can use any kind of fish that you would like uh, palm fret kingfish sardines um, literally any kind of fish can be used before starting with the cooking let's first soak the tamarind in water so this is about two inches of fresh tamarind so I'm going to add half cup lukewarm water to the tamarind and let it soak for five minutes. So after five minutes, it will turn really soft and then we can extract the tamarind juice from it. It's been five minutes, tamarind's been soaking in water. So I'm going to squeeze the tamarind in water and extract the juice out of it. It has turned really soft. So then I will drain the tamarind juice and uh, discard the skin and the seeds. So turn on the instant pot and select saute mode. Uh, so temperature should be at normal. So I'm using 7 in 1 duo model. Let the stainless steel pot turn hot after you see the hot sign. Let's add 2 tablespoon coconut oil. If you don't have coconut oil, you can use vegetable oil. But for making authentic Kerala uh, dishes, we need to add coconut oil. So let the oil turn hot. After the oil has turned hot, let's add 1 teaspoon mustard seeds. So if the oil is hot, it will splutter right away. Otherwise, uh, it will take a few minutes for the mustard seeds to splutter. So here the mustard seeds are starting to splutter. So it is very important that the seeds have to splutter. You will hear that uh, spluttering sound. So next adding two dried whole red chilies and uh, a few curry leaves. So saute for a few seconds. Do not burn the uh, curry leaves or the chilies. adding sliced shallots or pearl onion so i've added eight shallots uh, so for making this fish curry we need to add pearl onions or shallots it's not usually made with you know the big yellow or red onions so saute the shallots or pearl onions for a few minutes till it turns translucent season with half teaspoon salt and let the shallots turn translucent. So this will happen in like two to three minutes. Next, let's add one tablespoon chopped garlic and one tablespoon chopped fresh ginger. So mix everything well and cook for two minutes. After the shallots have turned light golden and translucent, uh, let's add tomatoes. So I'm adding one large tomatoes chopped. If you're using medium sized or small tomatoes, you can add two chopped tomatoes. So give everything a good mix and let the tomatoes cook well and uh, get slightly mashed up. After a couple of minutes, as you can see, tomatoes have uh, cooked well. And I'm also noticing the bottom of the stainless steel pot is starting to turn slight brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add quarter cup water and deglaze the pot. Uh, so we don't want the pot to turn brown. So just add some water and then mix everything well. 
Now it's time to add all the spices. So we're going to add three quarter teaspoon regular chili powder. So this is based on your spice level. You can add one to one and a half teaspoon if you want the curry to be very spicy. I'm also adding one teaspoon cashmere chili powder. So this is not that spicy, but it will give a beautiful vibrant color. So this is half teaspoon cumin powder. A few pinches of turmeric powder. Two teaspoon coriander powder. And one teaspoon salt. Give everything a good mix. Cook for a few seconds. Do not burn the spices. Next, let's add the tamarind extract. So I'm draining the tamarind extract and discard the skin and the seeds. So this is around half cup. Next, let's add one cup water. So combine it well and let this gravy come to a slight boil. That's when we are going to add the fish pieces. The gravy is coming to a slight boil. So now I'm adding all the salmon fish pieces. You can literally add any kind of fish that you would like. Also adding a few curry leaves. So curry leaves is an unavoidable ingredient while making Kerala dishes. So that will impart a beautiful, nice uh, taste and flavor. Keep the pot covered with a lid. So this is a separate lid from a pan. Next, I'm going to crush fenugreek seeds, half teaspoon in my mortar and pestle. So slightly crush it. Cook the fish for 15 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes. I opened the lid and I'm gonna check it. So the fish pieces should be submerged in the gravy. So I'm gently mixing it and to cover with the lid and let it cook for another five more minutes. After 15 minutes of cooking, I'm opening the lid and going to add the crushed fenugreek seeds. So if you don't have fenugreek seeds, you can skip it. So gently mix the fish. So do not mix it vigorously. The fish will break apart. Cook for a couple more minutes. So towards the end, let's add one teaspoon coconut oil. Cancel the saute setting. So the fish curry is done here. It's ready. So I'm going to remove the stainless steel pot from the main instant pot as the pot is still hot. So we don't want the fish to be overcooked. So keep it covered and let it rest for 15 minutes before serving. After 15 minutes, I'm going to serve the fish curry in a clay pot. So I have a clay pot here. Uh, this one, I bought it from Kerala during my last visit. So ideally in Kerala, fish curries are cooked and served in clay pot. So here we have cooked the fish curry in the instant pot. So if you have a clay pot, serve the fish curry in it. It will uh, make a beautiful presentation. I served this fish curry along with a tapioca and coconut stir fry. So stay tuned for the recipe for making tapioca and coconut in the instant pot it's going to be my next video here you have it guys delicious fish curry that's made in the instant pot so you can adjust the spice level according to your needs you can add more or less of the regular chili powder so the regular chili powder is spicy and cashmere chili powder it's not that spicy but it will impart a nice beautiful vibrant red color to this curry 
I also have the video for making salmon curry in the clay pot. So if you have a clay pot and want to make fish curry in it, uh, do check my video. I'll post the link in the description below. So do give this recipe a try. You can use any kind of fish that you would like and let me know your feedback. So if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be back with more instant pot videos. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye.